hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you my quick easy and simple wash day routine in under 30 minutes when you just don't have a lot of time to wash your hair for wash day and you just want to get it done so as you can see i have some build up my hair is dirty it's dry and it needs to be washed today i wash my hair once a week every single week as you can see, my hair is really matted, really tangled. So what I'm gonna do is start off by saturating my hair with water. I'm just gonna let the water run through my hair for a couple of minutes. I'm also gonna use my fingers and lightly pull apart any big tangles that I can find. And it just makes it a little bit easier when you actually start to detangle your hair. Wash day can really be stressful for some people and it really doesn't have to be. You just have to make sure that you're using the correct products that are going to easily detangle your hair and the right techniques so you don't spend a whole lot of time doing it. For those of you who don't know, I do have my own hair product line called Miche Beauty and we just came out with our sulfate free shampoo. I'm going to be using that today. It's very creamy. It's going to cleanse your hair without stripping it, but your hair is going to be clean. So I'm going to start off by putting that first on my scalp and I really like to get my scalp nice and clean. I'm going to be using the balls of my fingers and really massaging every area of your scalp with it. I do that for about a minute till I have gotten everything. Then you wanna go ahead and if you need some more shampoo, do that, but put it throughout the length of your hair. You want all of your hair to be clean, not just your scalp, but your hair as well. You wanna start with a good foundation so that when you put products on there, it will moisturize your hair. You want your hair clean. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my fingers and clean all of my hair. If your hair is really dirty, you can go ahead and shampoo a second time, but I'm just going to be doing it one time. I feel like that's enough for me. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse the shampoo out completely. You want it to be all gone. All right, now that I've rinsed it out, you guys can see how clean my hair is. I don't have any more buildup. It's nice and shiny. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put some more moisture back in my hair and I'm gonna use a deep conditioner. This is Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. I love this stuff. It is very, very creamy and it has a lot of slip so you can easily detangle your hair. It's like a two in one type of deep conditioner. It's great for moisturizing and great for detangling. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to one side of my hair first. And as you can see, it's melting right into my strands. It's like soaking it all up. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more and apply it to the other side as well. A lot of people like to start in sections once they're starting their wash day. I like to do it like this first and let the conditioner kind of sit in my hair and then I'm gonna section it off. I'm going to split it into four sections. You can always do more sections if you need to. For me, I feel like four is enough. Um, so I'm gonna split it and I'm going to pin up the rest and I'm just going to work on one section. And I'm also gonna be using a hair cap, a uh, plastic bag, and I'm just going to put it over the sections that I'm not working on so that it doesn't dry out my hair. Now it is time to detangle. This is the part where it can take a long time and it can get really frustrating, but you have to make sure that you are taking your time while doing this. I like to start by getting most of the knots and tangles out with just my fingers on the general section. And then I like to work in even smaller sections and split it in half. And again, I go in with my fingers and try and just gently pull out and take out all the tangles and knots then after that i go in with a wide tooth comb and you want to make sure it is wide tooth and i'm just going to get out the tangles that i missed with my fingers and then on top of that i go in with a denman brush and that really helps to clump my curls together and just really really detangle my hair and i only go in with a denman brush after i've already gotten out most of the knots and tangles you don't want to just go in with a denman brush because it will pull your hair out. And then once I work on that section, I will go on to the next section within that section and I'll repeat the same process. It looks like I'm going really fast here and I'm not taking my time, but I did speed this clip up so you wouldn't be watching this forever, but you definitely wanna make sure you're taking your time and doing this and that you have a conditioner with a lot of slip. And like I said, using any type of tools like a Denman brush or a wide tooth comb is optional. I like to do it because I like the way my hair clumps together and it just makes styling a little bit easier, especially when I do wash and goes. But like I said, it is very optional. 
I know some people will watch this and say, you know what, this is great, Michelle, but I don't think this is gonna work for my texture. I use this exact same text, uh, technique on my daughter whose hair is coarser than mine and we don't have the same texture and it works just as good on hair, her hair as it does on mine. Once I'm finished with each section, I'm just gonna go ahead and twist that section up just so that I can move on to the next one. I'm going to pin it up once I twist it and I'm gonna put the plastic cap over that so it doesn't dry out and I can deep condition at the same time. And I'm just gonna really repeat the same thing on each section of my hair. I would personally recommend washing your hair once a week and deep conditioning it every single week. It really ensures that your hair and scalp is clean and that you have a good foundation, like I said in the beginning, to really put products on your hair. You don't want to just build up products on top of each other because if your hair is not staying moisturized, you're going to wonder why. And it's because you're not cleaning your hair and you're not starting off with a good clean base. So I just want to give you those tips as you can see my hair is fully detangled and my curls are popping y'all and i love this deep conditioner if you have not tried it you need to try it i will leave a link in the description box with a coupon code for you if this is your first time trying it i'm going to show you guys how much hair i lose typically on every wash day it's not a whole lot and this is completely normal it's shedded hair that sheds every day your hair is you're losing hair every day but don't be alarmed as long as it's not breakage let the deep conditioner sit in my hair while I go ahead and continue with my shower. I do everything I need to do in there. This is a quick wash day routine, so I'm not going to deep condition with heat and steam or anything like that. I'm just going to let it sit while I do everything. I kind of switch it up every now and then. It really just depends. And as you can see, my hair is really shiny. It is very moisturized. It's very detangled after I rinse out the deep conditioner. And after I rinse it out, I like to go ahead and twist my hair back up. And I like to leave it in those sections so my hair stays detangled and it just makes styling a little bit easier. I'm gonna go ahead and give my hair one final rinse to make sure all the deep conditioner is out. You do not have to rinse it all out. You can leave a little bit in there. It'll be perfectly fine. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and wring my hair out with my fingers. And then after that, I'm gonna take a t-shirt. You don't wanna use a towel because a towel is going to make your hair frizzy and it's just gonna add too much friction to your hair. So try and use like a t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt and just use it on your hair to wring out most of the water. And after I leave it on there, I go ahead and get dressed and then I can go ahead styling my hair. I'll typically wear my hair in a wash and go or a twist out but you can choose any style that you want. I like to follow up with my lavish leave-in conditioner and go ahead and style my hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like the video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'm gonna be doing more videos as promised. And also if you haven't purchased my products already, I will leave all the information down in the description box. There will be a discount code for you as well as the website where you can order them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next one.